Now that you have placed Add More Rewarded ads in your app, what's next? How would you know if the ads are doing well? How would you know if there are any improvements you need to make? In this video, we will show you the key data points to check to understand the performance of your Add More Rewarded ads, as well as tips and actions you can take to improve your rewarded ad performance. Here's the agenda overview for the video. We'll cover a basic data points checklist as well as an advanced data point checklist. Please note that to access these data points, you'll need to complete the following two steps. Install Firebase Analytics SDK in your app and connect your Firebase Analytics account to your AdMob account. Once completed, you can expect to start viewing data for your rewarded ads the next day if your app traffic is disabled. We have also linked the developer docs in the description section down below. Now, let's walk through the basic data points. You can automatically get these basic data points from your AdMob account if you link your app with Firebase Analytics. The first basic data point we'll talk about today is revenue percentage. To calculate it, simply divide rewarded ad revenue over total ads revenue. This metric tells you how much rewarded ads contribute to the total ads revenue of your app. If this metric is low, there is potential to grow your ad revenue from rewarded ads. The second basic data point we'll talk about today is rewarded users percentage. To calculate it, simply divide rewarded users over active users. This metric tells that of your total users, how many have seen rewarded ads. If this metric is low and below your goal, it means few users have seen rewarded ads. To improve this metric, consider redesigning your rewarded button to make it stand out. The third basic data point we'll talk about today is frequency. This metric tells you that on average, how many times does a user watch rewarded ads per day? If this is low, you could check frequency caps, test different rewarded items in the amount to make your rewards more attractive to users so they are more likely to watch rewarded videos again. The fourth basic data point we'll talk about today is RPM. RPM is a revenue you accrue for every 1,000 impressions you receive. If this metric is low, you might consider using add more mediation with live CPM, up to free calls from in-house or third-party mediation. Now, let's move on to the advanced metric checklist. Please note that you'll need to implement two additional custom events to see these data points. The custom events are add prompt and spend reward item. In order to see these custom events on Firebase dashboard, you need to use function mfirebaseanalytics.logEvent to track them. After the implementation, you'll be able to see the transition funnel of rewarded ads. Let's take a look at each metric in an advanced checklist funnel. The first metric is visibility, which equals rewarded ad prompt over screen view. This metric tells you whether your ad prompt rewarded button is visible enough to your users. If this metric is not performing well, there are two areas you can look into. First, your rewarded button might not be visible enough for a user to see. In this case, you should consider placing your rewarded button above the fold, which is the upper half of the screen where users do not have to scroll down. Second, your targeting might be too restricted. Maybe you are only showing rewarded ads to a small group of people. In this case, you should test showing the rewarded button to a broader target audience. The second metric is opt-in rate, which is calculated by rewarded ad impression over rewarded ad prompt. This metric tells you how often users who see rewarded ads prompt button will actually open the ad. If this metric is not performing well, it could be that users didn't notice the ad or the reward ad is not attractive enough. In this case, you should consider designing a rewarded button to make it stand out more in the UI or test different reward items and value. The third metric is complete rate, which is calculated by ad reward over rewarded ad impression. This metric tells you the completion rate from users who watch rewarded video ads. Suboptimal performance of this metric could be caused by some potential implementation issues, or users don't see enough value from the reward to spend time watching the ad. To improve this metric, you can thoroughly test the implementation or adjust rewarded items and amount to make it more attractive. 
The fourth metric is benefit of reward, which is calculate the percentage of users who have consumed the reward items after watching the ad. In other words, it tells you how beneficial your users think the rewarded items are. If this metric is not performing well, it could be that users don't think the reward item is valuable enough for them. In this case, you should consider redesigning the use cases of the reward items or changing to a different reward item. For more videos like this one, please visit the Google AdMob YouTube channel.